Welcome to Who is Other Demons. This game is currently free to June 24th on the Epic Game Store along with Overcook. So let's give it a try. Campaign. And let's do an intro. Boneyard. What's going on here? After the resistance fell, it all went south. The here, infant side armies of the stale supremacy swiftly assimilated what was left of the population. Alright. I'm going to use control on this thing, so hopefully it's easier. Got some nice pistol graphics. Very simple, but it looks crisp. And here are some demons? Sure. About that. And the stars are out. Hell was left uncomfortably. Numbs. Okay. The profiled inferno was in dire need of help. Okay. It's going pretty fast out. It's so hard to read. It kind of looks a pixel like art style of the words were better because it's really hard to read. I mean, just look at his color choice. It's just simple colors. So there's like the main leader trying to resurrect someone. And we're into the game. Boneyard tutorial. So this is the game. I, I don't know. Looks simple. So wake up, Rebel. You have been given a second chance. Show me what you still have it. Move to the shiny spot using. Alright. So I'm the person that he resurrected. Dump up. Alright, pretty simple. And now he wants me to dash your lasers. What lasers? Oh. Alright. That's simple. I mean. The graphics look nice there, see? but at the same time they're kind of distracting. The colors they picked, I don't know if I would have picked these colors. I don't know. Almost, I mean, black and white and with the gray never has enough detail. But I mean, they kind of went for a concept that have red, white, and purple. I mean, you have black too, so great, that's dashing. Yes, it was. You fire that gun I've given you. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I fired it, and now we have your guys. Alright, so I was recommended by a friend who downloaded this game on free game from epic and he said use controller so keep killing until an ultimate charge all right so what is this game is it like a um, roguelike or is it just like a story game Ooh, what's this ultimate charge and how do i use it what's lt oh wow that thing's powerful ultimate charge eh. now we gotta use it again i don't see anyone using it on though oh there we go Gems collected, 162, Boneyard, Tutorial, Wave 00, Total Gems, 162, Time with 71.2, and one try. And you can really try to beat your score. Now, we go on to Boneyard Bridge, that's the next one, so flawless, no ultimate, no weapons. Huh? Wow, that'd be hard. So you can say no weapons, like I can say nope, and then it gives me what? But no, I'd rather just have weapons. So do you eventually get more weapons or you only have like some amount to spend and, and I don't know. So let's hit play. And here we go. So Boneyard Bridge. How do we not do this without weapons? It seems kind of hard, doesn't it? Oh jeez. Coming in. I mean, I wish it was a little more zoomed out, but that'd be kind of cheaty. So when I shoot my weapon, I believe I have to stop shooting in order to get the stuff that might come to me. But, I mean, really, you can kind of just spam it. I don't think there's, like, a no spamming rule. I mean, there should be. Because if you could just do this, I mean, I don't see how you can lose. But, I mean, I guess they spawn on top of you. Oh, I don't have an ultimate. I almost used my ultimate, but I don't have one. Okay. They're all dead. Collect all the stuff. Ooh, they're still coming. I mean, I can jump up there. And I believe I can jump on their heads, right? To kill them. Oh, geez, there's a lot of them. My right, ultimate's there. I got it. Might as well use it. I miss a couple. So the more gems I get, the more, like, faster my- Oh, that scares me every single time. Win without taking damage. So that was three waves, 351 gems, 189 gems collected, 47.1 in one try. How would you do it without weapons? That's a true question. I can't go to my left? Huh. So next time I do no ultimate. That's pretty simple to get, but no weapons? I guess you just keep on jumping on the head, like I said. But then you won't need the fall as- Okay. So you probably could do that. But I'm gonna do it so I keep on winning. I mean, what was this called? This was called the Trident. Sure. Ooh, map's a little different. They're all kind of samey samey. I mean, I don't know what containers do. I guess you just stand in the middle and just shoot. I mean, it seems pretty easy. Like, I guess the difficulty comes in, like, you make it yourself. Like, if you have no weapons, I think you have to jump on their heads. No ultimate, I mean, I might do that. It doesn't seem bad for it. And I'm hoping you get different weapons, because look at this. I mean, I, I, like I said, if I just came out shooting, I can never collect the gems. But if I never- Whoa, oh jeez, okay, there's a the hard part. We have guys who shoot at us. Alright, and where's that guy? He's that way. Alright, so hard part is coming then. 
Just keep shooting, I can't see. Got dodge stuff I hear. Oh, there they come. Ow. Okay. Get a little harder, I got hit, so I didn't get my flawless. So it does get harder, great. I mean, like I said, I still oh, with these guys. Alright, so I hit them a couple times. So they're kind of like the skulls. Again, I'm gonna try not to use ultimates because those just seem like an easy way. And full health again. Win without using ultimate, but I did get hit. So that was 281 gems, total of 632. We're all three ways, 51.7 seconds, one try. So now would be uneven. So, like, I guess the easiest one to do is use no ultimate. I would love to see someone try and not use any weapons at all and just give them a try and bounce on our head. Like I said, if I get hit this time, I may try to see how hard it is. Because, I mean, I guess you don't want to stand still because they can shoot now. Is the problem. I don't know where they're shooting from. I don't actually see them. I guess I can go up here. I want to see how this could spawn. Kill that dude. Oh, crap. Where did he hit me from? There's someone up here throwing stuff. Is this just a map? Yeah, it's just a map throwing at me. That's a little cheaty. Right? Or is it somewhere I can't see? Oh, look how the map's just throwing stuff. Oh, there he is. He was off map a little bit. Alright, that's real cheaty. Alright, so let's try jump on these guys. Oh, actually, that's not too hard, actually. This, oh, I mean, I want to follow us. So, alright, I'm gonna die here. Let's not do that. Well, okay, whew. I will, could use some help. Because, yeah, I mean, jumping, you gotta jump a couple times. I got ultimate, which is not useful. I mean, health would be useful. I don't wanna get hit by any of them. Keep on shooting. Oh, jeez. A lot of them. Jump, jump, jump. Don't get hit by that. I almost jumped on it. Oh, that's a bullet. Got health. Kill that guy. But, yeah. Oh, what did I get? Oh, someone throwing at me. And I can't see the dudes throwing at me. I hate that part. How they can be off screen. Oh, I almost stepped on them. Um, what do I want to say? Spikes. Yeah, game's actually pretty. I mean, it's simple but fun. It's one of those you just keep on shooting and make. Like I said, the challenge is yours. You decide how easy or hard it is. So we got Boneyard. It was uneven. It was 371 gems. 1003 total. Wave 3 off feet. 83.5 seconds. One try. Is that total gems like in my pot kit? Because I got 371 from this and then now my total is 1003? That makes sense. So now up here is Goat Whisper Store. So we can be spending our gems. Wow, this is like tripping hard on eyes, isn't it? Go machine gun, wave gun, twin shooter, and then ultimate. You got a special, which is enable you to equip more gear. That seems useful. You got long dash, plasma cart, oh, plastic cart, sorry. Max AP, total and taken damage, sensitive skin. True aim, more epic shots. <laughs> Bullet grease, projectiles move faster and farther, and boots say stop more vilely. Hmm. So, I mean, as far as I can do is take a max AP so I can live longer. And. Hmm. I mean, I, I couldn't afford a new weapon no matter what. So, enable you to equip more gear. That seems useful in the long run. Right now, it doesn't really, but in the long run, it will. So, yeah, there's your progression in this game. It's shops. So you can keep on replaying well, so you have unlimited gems to keep buying stuff. You can go wherever you want, as you can see, it doesn't stop you. So let's do this one, ceiling. Okay. But it's always the same one, so upgrades, I equip it. So cost. So, okay. So I see how it goes. So you have one, two, three, four, five. I can equip five stuff. I used to be able to equip four, but I've got the upgrade. So it only costs two to equip this other, it costs one, and my ultimate costs zero. So one, zero, one, two. Sweet. And here we go. So I guess if you ever get to a level you can't beat, it's called you just kind of keep retrying levels and retrying levels until you get enough upgrades to make it easier on yourself. Alright, so, got ooh, there's actually on the ceiling. Alright, don't want those guys shoot, that was kind of dangerous. Alright, get those guys, got those guys. Ooh, I'm, I'm, it's kicking me backwards, you see that? As I'm shooting, it makes me fall backwards. Alright, get those guys. Oh, I said don't jump. Oh, I got hit again. That was kind of waste. Oh well. I'm just gonna do my ultimate thing. Do it kill them if they hit the edge up. Because that would be nice. Let's go back down here. It's safer. I can jump on their heads. And I wanted to collect gems. So, I guess that's the benefit of shooting is you can kill people, but if you don't shoot, you get your gems. Ow. And, oh, that's a different character than like the boss of this level. Because so far he doesn't seem that bad. There's a guy up there somewhere just running to shoot. 
So like if I stop shooting then I get my gems, which I use to buy more stuff. So that's like the incentive not to spam shoot. Cause at first I thought, oh gems are useless. Cause you get the upgrade and I'm not using my ultimate. So again, win wins I'll use my ultimate. So yeah, 273 jump down, 476 total. That's how it works. 3 out of 3 waves, 62.6 seconds, and 1 try. Game seems kinda easy right now. I'm probably gonna jinx it, so we have one, two more shops I can see. This is traps, woo. So once you beat the level, it shows you what one you got. So I got the fallest there, I got the ultimates on the rest. Eh. Once again, same loadout. I got a little new screen saying, don't forget to dash. Guess what? I forget to dash. I never dash. Because, I mean, the maps don't really make it easy to dash, as you can see. I mean, look at it. There it is. Jump on your head. I really should go back and try... Oh, took damage. I was trying to bounce on her head. Just to kill them without using my ultimate. I think that'd be real fun. I mean, I keep on saying that, but I like when games, like, give you the option of challenges. Because once it adds repeatability, because especially when you can replay the levels, and two, like I said, if the game's too easy, I mean, it's your A, you call you don't buy any upgrades, make it get harder on yourself, or B, kind of handicap yourself as they're trying to make you, because they give me incentives to. Man, it's raining down a lot of stuff here. Where's he at? Oh, he's that way. Like I said, my biggest point about it is actually the graphics in this game. Like, it'd be kind of cool, but for, like, for me playing it, it's not too bad in my eyes. Like, I played games that was so hard to understand and see in my eyes. Oh, that spikes on. I did not see that. But for you guys, it's probably a nightmare. Especially because I'm trying, I zoomed in a little bit, because I'm on 4K, so that probably is worse for you guys, but then also I like the zoom in option, like, how does that spice come on? They don't come up here, but they don't come on this one? Alright, we got him. And once the top, it shows like a zero red, is that my wave numbers? Yeah, I think that's the wave numbers. Never mind, answer my own question, okay. Let's get all these shadows, Ooh. did I kill him instantly? I think I killed him instantly, by just balancing on him. Oh wow, I'm jumping real high. Oh, he's down there. Alright, don't kill me, dude. Ow. I always get that hard cut I needed. Don't hit by a spike. Definitely wasn't false this time. So we have a couple more waves I don't have to worry about. Um, he's up there. You gotta get to him somehow. I have to use my ultimate if I don't want to die here. Oh, can you soul fall? You can if you hold it. Right. Right. So he's up there still. It's kind of annoying this has a spike. Alright, I think I killed him. New wave. Alright. I will use my ultimate if I hold it, because I don't feel like dying here. I gotta be kind of embarrassing. But then... Oh jeez! Oh, I got hit by it anyways. I'm going to die here. Give me health, please. Give me that beautiful health. Oh. I died here. Well. Hmm. Okay. Fine. So I got 433 gems at times, so I'm not hearing anything total. I got wave 4 out of 5. Took me 133.8 seconds in one try. Instead of retrying a level, I'm gonna go back to the first one with no weapon, no ultimate. Alright, so no weapon, no ultimate, and I can keep my health upgrade. It, that allows me, yeah. So this time, I have nothing. So I only gotta jump on the head, which I guess because I got flawless already, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, if you know what I mean, because I think like I can get flawless here. I don't have to get flawless here, but it still stays check if I'm thinking correctly. I'm still gonna try for fall. Let's just say I did it. Cause I want more head on him. I did it. No. Bounce on your head. Bounce on your head. I think the combat's kind of more fun than bounce on your head. I want to see a game that just this makes you only fight this way. It could be kind of fun. Bounce, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Especially you've hit him a couple times. Got a heart. One last wave. I did fall see almost. Don't jinx it now. Don't jinx it now. All right. We're good there. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Sheep bouncing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bunch of them here. He's shooting at me. Oh, a good thing there's no spikes up there. Wake him shoot already. Bounce. And we got him. Flawless? Question mark? Yes. Look at that. When without firing a weapon, when without doing the ultimate. So jungle cut, 283. 303 waves, 1182 gems. Total, 55.6 in the seconds. And... It keeps track how many tries you've done each roll. Now I'm up to two tries. Okay. So you can like, it sounds I did it on my first try and everything. You can see they did it. So, interesting. Now I have everything. What did I get for doing everything? Who knows? Let's go in the shop. Buy something. I mean, put more gear. Don't we really need to right now? So, for right now, hmm. I think I'm going to do bullet grease. 
violent style could be useful for not using any weapons. But you... Hmm... <laughs> Productuals move faster and farther. I think that's the way to go. Then I'm gonna get... I don't use dash at all, I haven't used that at all. So I'll explode one taken damage for sure. And there's my upgrades. I think I might end it here. Don't say more, so I'm willing to. Looks like I acquired a bit of levels here. It could be fun. So yeah, it's free to June 24th, 2021. Along with Overcooked 2. So comment down below if you want to see more of this. Check the link in the description to get the game free for yourself. Like I said, along with Overcooked 2. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching. And have a great day. Comment down below. And bye. Oh, and by the way, there's arcade mode and level climbs. So that's probably like as far as you can go in arcades. It's for fun. And there's even leaderboards, which is pretty cool. And you can say global and everything. So I don't know like how the points go, but yeah, that guy's way ahead.